So in patients with uh, HER2 positive breast cancer and early disease, irrespective of hormon hormonal receptor status, uh, poly chemotherapy given for 18 to 24 weeks in combination with trastuzumab and pertuzumab is standard of care in the near one treatment. And um, focus of our trials in, in, in the past was to look on more short or de-escalated treatments in this, in particular in this disease. So we performed the trial in 200, 207 patients with centrally hormone receptor positive, HER2 positive early breast cancer, and treated them by neoadjuvant endocrine treatment plus trastuzumab and pertuzumab for 12 weeks, or by de-escalated chemotherapy with paclitaxel plus trastuzumab and pertuzumab. After 12 weeks in patients with pathological complete response, omission of further chemotherapy was strongly recommended. And in patients with residual disease, we have recommended to give further chemotherapy. Um, data for pathological complete response were published last year in GEM Oncology, and they have shown that pathological complete response, response was as expected higher in patients with in, in patients with, uh, um, treated by chemotherapy compared to the endocrine therapy, this difference was 57% uh, compared to 25%. But if you look now on the survival results after five years of treatment, we have shown that there is absolutely no difference in survival outcomes in both, in both groups. But important point is that all patients were treated by adjuvant trastuzumab and pertuzumab for one year in combination with endocrine treatment and most of them have been treated also by chemotherapy in particular in case of no pathological complete response after after 12 after first 12 weeks of treatment so from this point of view there are two very interesting points from this from this results the first one would be it's absolutely safe to start with de-escalated and very, very well tolerable treatment by endocrine treatment plus trastuzumab and pertuzumab in these patients. And for example, to give the chemotherapy according to the early PCR, for example, after 12 weeks of de-escalated treatment. This may be the one conclusion from the, from the trial. The another one may be also very interesting because patients treated by only 12 weeks of chemotherapy and achieved pathological complete response of you know, about 60%, and most of them were not treated by further chemotherapy. It seems to be that also shorter chemotherapy treatment appear very, appears very safe for the patients. So I think from this point of view, the survival results are very important. Yeah, it's the first time, uh, first time that we have performed this comparison between two de-escalated treatments in the prospective randomized way. And I think it's very important also for future trials which are ongoing now, for example, COMPASS trial in, in the US or for again two trial in the, in the Europe, both looking on de-escalated chemotherapy or completely de-escalation of, of chemotherapy treatment and here to positive disease. For this trial, the TP2 results are very important for the, for the, for the future.